So Tray AI has recently introduced a lot of updates with a lot of functionalities that we are actually missing in previous versions of Tray AI. So the much awaited functionality in Tray AI that I have been waiting for a while is actually MCP servers. So now you can use MCP servers right inside Tray AI Builder, which is actually an AI agent inside Tray AI. To add any MCP server inside Tray AI is just super simple. You can simply just click on this add button from here. And from here, you can simply just click on this add MCP. And then there is a huge community of MCP servers that you can add from here. You can find your favorite one like this. Let's suppose if you add this Figma AI bridge, you can simply just click on this plus button from here. And from here, you can provide the personal access token from Figma settings and then just click on confirm. And then that MCP server will be added right inside your tray AI. And if there is any particular MCP server that you cannot find from here, you can just configure that manually from here. You can add your JSON file or the content of your JSON file in here manually. And then you can use that MCP server directly clean here once you have configured your mcp servers now if you want to like use this builder ai agent inside tray so now you can actually use just the ai agent which is the builder or you can use builder with mcp that means now you can actually use this ai agent that has access with all of the mcp servers that you have configured or you can simply just like create a new custom ai agent and then you can name that ai agent and of course you can actually give a custom prompt to that to that ai agent that means that will act more like dot cursor rules file so you can actually just provide it that how this AI agent should work like so that will just seem kind of work like dot cursor rules file so also you can actually add mcp servers to this particular AI agent only also you can like simply just after you click on create and then after that you can access that custom builder agent in here that you can then use to write code inside your project there are a lot of improvements in context as well just like cursor you can simply just click on that and after that you can just tag any certain documents in here or you can simply just like provide any like web url in here and then after that you can just ask it to like that data from that website let's suppose if this is, there is a documentation we can just like provide that just as a url just like cursor so like you can see the functionality wise tray ai is like getting more and more closer to cursor ai other than that of course you can access to cloud sonnet 3.7 cloud sonnet 3.5 uh, okay so using cloud sonnet 3.7 in here you might like go in a waiting list for using cloud sonnet 3.7 because if you don't know tray ai is absolutely free there is no subscription for that so you are using all of these ai models absolutely for free you can of course use gemini pro 2.5 you can use gpt 4.1 4.0 deepseek v3 and deepseek r1 and even you can add your own custom ai model as well similarly there is a whole new extension store in here this was actually already there but now you can actually install most of the vs code extensions directly inside tray the reason why i'm actually explaining this in detail and why i'm actually very excited about tray ai because this last video that i created about tray ai so most of you are saying that maybe this is not as good as cursor maybe like the performance is not that good or maybe like this is this was kind of a paid review but i was excited about tray and i'm still excited about tray because this is an absolutely free AI code editor. I'm not being paid to promote Tray.ai, but I truly believe that after these new changings and especially after MCP servers and after like these uh, ability to create custom AI agents that works very similar to dot cursor rules. So now we are actually capable of uh, kind of achieving the similar kind of results that we can actually do in cursor. The next video that I'll share with you, I'll actually create a very complete in-depth video about creating a complete full stack application using MCP servers in Tray.ai and as i have told you that this is absolutely free to use there is no subscription cost you are not required to like attach any sort of like credit card details in tray AI. so that's why i'm actually going to create a very full in-depth tutorial about tray.ai that how you can create full stack applications in tray ai if you have noticed today i'm actually posting after like seven days because i have been sick for last three weeks and i'm still like not feeling really well but right after i crossed 100k subscribers i got sick i had plans so many collaborations and all of that i could not do because i was just like sick for last three weeks now i'm feeling comparatively better but still not completely recovered from my sickness but i'll try to get back to my routine i'll try to regain my energy and post like a couple of times a day so i'll actually get back to my old posting schedule so this video was just about these new updates in tray ai and in next video i'm actually going to create a complete full stack application so please subscribe to this youtube channel and keep an eye on the next video i'll actually create a more detailed in-depth video step-by-step -step video that how you can create full stack applications in tray ai and in another later video i'll actually show you that how you can create mobile applications using tray ai if you have any further questions please leave a comment in comment section i see you next video